it's emancipation day in trinidad and tobago it's all about the look that i have today this of course is not all of it so you're in for a treat i did my brows off camera did you guys the honor of doing that and i'm gonna just jump right into it all right so i think i'm gonna reach into my jaclyn hill palette today dip into that shade puta this is this one right here gonna pack it in there first Y'all seeing that? I'm going to be doing a halo eye today. So I'm packing it on my outer and my inner. A really simple halo eye today. Right now I'm just gonna take what remaining and kinda transition it over to connect above. We don't need much very very light it's so pretty i want to add a bit more color i might add a little bit of concealer just a, a tiny bit what remained on my concealer brush then i'm going to blend that out so it's smooth you don't want it to be looking Patchy. Because patchy ain't cute at all. I want to deepen up the outer and inner corners, but I don't want to do that right now. I want to focus in the middle just to ensure that I have that concealed area set before I start deepening up the outer and inner to truly emphasize that halo effect in my modern renaissance has this these two light shades here i think i'm going to use this one in the middle i don't want it to be too too light i add a little bit of this Tempera. First I added golden ochre. I completely forgot they have names. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of tempera over it. And now I can, since I've set the concealer, I can go back in and deepen the shades, pack it in, make sure there's a lot more emphasis going on and stuff like that. Because even though I'm not doing much with the eyes, I still want the eyes to look really pretty and I want it to still show, you know. I'm going to get a more detailed brush. Oop, there we go. Selfish Cosmetics to the rescue. Eh. Chip is this shade right here. Oldie. A little bit slight. This is the flat brush that I use in the middle of my eye. I'm just going to make sure my edges are blending out well with whatever remained on the brush. I didn't add anything. What do you guys think of my halo, 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 halo. Take a little bit of the mare. That's this one right here. And let me see how it looks. I'm just gonna pat it in. What do you guys think? I still want some more sparkles. I think I'm gonna get my um Gilaru. 
can't go wrong with some J. LaRue plus it's black owned. Get out her people. Her stuff is dope. Infamous. Infamous. Or should we say famous? J. LaRue, white gold. I think I need a round of applause because I've been trying to get my hands on this. I've been. It's so popular that it's always sold out. Like all the time. I don't know. I'm studying like how rich do I want it? I think I'm just gonna put it there. I'm not gonna put any kind of base or anything. I know usually you could just rest it on. Oh my god, I see why people always want it. It's It's beautiful. It is. Wait a damn minute. Wait, wait a damn minute. Too much TikTok. But oh my god. Listen to me. Pigments. It's the prettiest, prettiest things. It's some of the prettiest things ever created where makeup is concerned. What I'm going to do is line my lash line and put on my lashes off camera and I'm going to come back with probably my entire face done so I'm going to use my Ruby Kisses liquid eyeliner in the shade white <laughs> Have something inside of here. Wait now, wait that. I like white off. <laughs> and I'm moving straight at all. Angle brush keep screwing it up. This is the final look. Happy emancipation to you beautiful twin island of Trinidad and Tobago. And a happy emancipation to all Caribbean islands. Whether it is or it is not, happy emancipation to you. My information, as I say that. <laughs>